Yeah, YouTube, what's good with you, man? Your boy Rich Everything, y'all know what it is, man. No days off, still working. You see what I'm doing? I'm sitting right here. Uh, putting some compound on these valves. Boy, sound like somebody back there getting it, ain't it? Yeah, putting some compound on these valves, man, lapping. So, a little regrind whatnot so y'all can check the process i already did the uh intake valve but i'll let y'all check the process of what i got going on man i just kind of i'm doing the exhaust valves now so i push that thing in and what i'm doing i'm using my power drill but when you when you use your power drill or whatnot relapping your valves you know what i'm saying i, I got my um compound on there or what i'm gonna do you can't really see the back right now but what i'm doing is i'm just snugging the drill up onto the back of the uh the stem of this actual valve so now we're gonna start with the process so we go out a little bit we got we got the compound already on there i'm gonna stick my finger right here in the middle I ain't even applying no pressure. I ain't pulling hard. You just want it so with that valve don't slide out of the drill. You want even pressure. So, back y'all up just a little bit. And you can kind of hear it. You know what I'm saying? When you lapping it, you can kind of hear it. As you going in and out. Get the drill, and you can feel it. You can feel it just a little bit. Back the camera up so y'all can see a full process, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's really going on, that's one direction right there. I might get a little gentle pull in on it. And then what I do, I kick my drill back the other side. Take the drill back the other side, do the same thing. Same process. Even pull on that thing. You want a little gentle pull. You know, you don't want to apply too much pressure. You want to keep that drill straight and going in and out. You know, the feet is how they sit. So you don't want to be pulling one side or the other. Gentle pull. I'll take it back in the direction one more time that I started. Right there. And then I stop what I do. I'm gonna take this thing off here right quick. And let y'all see. That tool kind of in there a little bit. These mo these skeeters are bad out here, boy. We out here in the country. I'm going to spray. I got my little man with the camera, so let me spray him down right quick. We can't have him with no mosquito bites, and he's working. You feel me? So, excuse me, man. You know what I'm saying? He helped me. I helped him. But, yeah, like I was saying, uh, taking your valve out right now, I just take it and I grab it. And what I do is I got some... Uh, general degreaser i take that general degreaser and just kind of spray it on that valve take my clean shirt right here and i should have showed y'all this valve before i started you know what i'm saying the back side of it when i was actually trying to get it right i ain't saying the back side of it down too too fine but uh I did get it, you know what I'm saying, it, to where it was good enough. I ain't trying to make no brand new valves, but if you look, can you see that seat right there? You can see that seat right there on that um, thing too? Yep. You can see the difference between the two? Mm -hmm. Okay, like I say, I ain't try to shine that thing all the way up uh, when I was cleaning it. So you can look over here at my other valves and See how I did get all the carbon and all off of them. 
Now, all right, I'm pull this back out for a second. Cause I want you to see how that seat right there look. And then you see how that seat right there look. You see that right there? That's smooth. It looked like it got pitting in it, but it's actually like real smooth. So, you know, uh, the thing with that is I got that real nice and clean. And that's why I'm gonna go back and I'm, I'm gonna lap this one now and let you see, cause you already done saw how it looks. So you see, I'm gonna take this one. I know this one go in this chamber right here. Let me do one thing before I do that. This is a little clean up. Just a second. I go back and get that compound off there so it don't clean up behind myself. Just a little bit. I'm gonna degrease this whole head all over again anyway. Move everything up before I put these springs back in there. But yeah, excuse me about that, man. Let's get a little clean up right there. So what I do, even with the valve that I'm about to use, this the compound I'm using right here. Uh, Permatex valve con valve grinding compound. So what I'm gonna do, let you see. I just put a little bit on the surface and I'm trying to, I ain't trying to be stingy with it, but you know, trying to even it out. It don't take much. Once you get it on there, it don't don't take much. So we on valve number two. For that one, we slide on in. So I'm gonna go back here, put my drill on while keep show y'all the front. Matter of fact, two. Come around this side. Let me show them the process about what I'm doing right here. Cause see right here, you, these were your keepers and all go. So you don't want to damage this part right here where your keepers and all go. You can kind of look in there. You probably can't see it, but I'm gonna just gently grab it. And if you can see it, I could barely, I push it in some. I could barely get my hand on that thing. So I just keep pushing the valve in and then I snug it up. But see, since I can't snug it how I want to, I just take my little tool right here and I just I just put it on there and I just barely turn it. A little nudge. Go back on this side over here. I'm gonna start grinding. Y'all saw how that thing looked. When I first started, it. So, let's see how it looked when I finish. See, that's what I be talking about right there. That's how you know I ain't got this thing on there that tight. Push that valve in for me too. That's how you know I ain't got the drill on there that tight. Cause it'll slide right on all. And that's what you don't want to have. But, well you trying to avoid from happening, but I snug it up a little bit more. Get a nice little grab on it. That way I know I can get in there. There you go, lesson for the day. Nice little snug one. In and out, in and out. You keep it there. You ain't gotta go all the way. You ain't gotta go all the way out here doing all that. You know what I'm saying? You in and out right here. A nice little grind, you know what I'm saying? Right there. That's all you need to do. Like I said, I take it, I flip my switch. Go back in the opposite direction. Y'all probably can't see that on camera, but uh, if y'all feel it then, you know, so be it. But uh, yeah, nice little in and out pattern. Like I said, keep it easily. Love it a little bit. Go back in my opposite direction one more time. This is my process now. I mean, y'all do it how y'all want to do it. Y'all grinding. Y'all valves in, but you know what I'm saying? This is my little process of how I'm doing it. 
should have took him to the machine shop. I said I was gonna test this motor on IG. With some of my buddies, I told them I was gonna test this motor 100. I ain't, I ain't touch it fully 100 because I did go to the machine shop to get the block clean. You know, some things you just can't do because I pulled this block from uh, our actual actual pool yard. So you can see inside there. I'm going to lay the valve down for a second. You can see inside there, right there where that compound built up now. Let you see how your uh, lip and everything is also cut inside of it cuts inside of your uh valve too or seats i'm saying cut but seat i mean well, a lot of y'all know for the ones that just starting out yeah how it seat your valve you see them lines in there see the nice little the lines i try to get all that compound off for you see how that look now I'll take this one right here, wipe this one up so y'all can see the difference down there on that exhaust valve. The exhaust valve or the valve itself and the seat, see how that looked like it might have a little bit of pitting or something on it. It ain't really got no pitting on it. It's just where well, you done cleaned it up. And I don't know, then again, I guess, I mean, if you want to call it that, you call it that, but that's your whole purpose of actually doing the this right here grinding re relapping your valve so you can actually get rid of all that you know what i'm saying that that little space that's in there whether it's debris from carbon or anything you know so again i'll show you that valve seat y'all saw how that one started out so y'all see how that valve seat right there look and y'all saw the pits in it earlier, but uh, we got them all cleaned up. And that right there is, this this compound right here is more of a rough compound, to be honest with you. Because I got another uh, compound right here that uh, is two. So you got a coarse, and then you got a fine. So you got two different ones that's in there. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get the rest of these valves right here, bust down, and then we're going to get back with y'all in a few minutes. Here one. Already done. You see him? You see him? Seating them things. The greaser. Make sure I ain't got no shavings, no nothing in that thing, man. Matter of fact, let me, let me get this off the work table. On my little work table for y'all. Sit this down on my board right here. Grab my degreaser. Make sure I ain't got no shavings or nothing, man. Clean inside out. Inside out, we'll bust that thing down. Wash them off again. That's that for that one. Let's see. Let's show y'all how these seats come out looking. On these valves. Trying to get that thing in focus for you. y'all see it man we're gonna bust head number two down you know what i'm saying i just want to give y'all a quick little video that y'all see what's going on man i'm gonna cut my music back on go ahead and get head number two out the way um i got a fine grit 
I'm gonna put that fine grit on there. Uh, if the sun go down on me today, I guess I'll put that fine grit on it tomorrow, but I'm gonna go ahead and get head number two out the way. I like to go ahead and do all my processes. If I'm working on one head, I'm working on the other. So that way I know that I'm on the same stage with both of them. That's with anything that I do. Oh yeah, uh, got the oil pan cleaned up since the last time y'all saw it. Uh, this, and that was our video uh, yesterday, I think it was. Um, I ain't even gonna lie. The Harbor Freight cleaner were good, but it's just some things you just got to bust down with hands and uh, a Scotch Bright pad. You know what I'm saying? A little wire brush. I had to actually get in there with my hands and stuff um, to actually bust this thing down. So you see, I still got a little something on there, but you know, we ain't. We just want this thing nice and clean so that way when we do put it back together, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got no type of trash or nothing. And then I actually took this right here out, cleaned it up. Splash plate and the oil. Um, sprayed the water pump down that has some gunk on it. This stuff gonna get painted up, so don't pay it no mind, man. I'm at the back of the house. Don't pay my junk no mind, man. Uh, but yeah, man, got that stuff cleaned up, man. Like I said, I'm gonna jump on head number two over here so i can go ahead and get the stuff right here done because the sun going down on me man um y'all know like always man push like hit that push notification button share man look at here man and i keep asking y'all to subscribe man i told y'all i'm gonna touch this thing 100 so uh subscribe i'm gonna put this thing together y'all see me doing everything you know what i'm saying i'm doing the stuff the machine shop should be doing myself mr everything you know what I'm saying? Rich everything. It is what it is, man. I salute. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all for following. It is what it is.